Welcome to the John Radcliffe Hospital to the Cardiac Catheterization Laboratory here. My name is Raj Karbanda. I'm a cardiologist. Uh, we're going to show you a procedure of an angiogram with a possible stent on this gentleman who's been admitted as an emergency. So increasingly, we are performing procedures on patients who come in as emergencies, but of course patients can also be admitted for elective, planned procedures, and that's very similar in the procedure that we conduct. So the first thing that's going to happen is that the physiologist here in Terry is going to put some ECG electrodes on the patient's chest, and that's to monitor the heart rhythm during the procedure. We're going to put on some oxygen monitoring, and we're going to monitor the blood pressure. So Terry, if you could come in and connect those ECG electrodes up, please. Thank you. Just a couple of electrodes on your arms. So the next thing that happens is that we need to uh, drape the patient and clean the access point. So in this case, we're going in through the wrist artery. About 80% of cases are done through the wrist. Occasionally, we need to go through the groin. Those are usually planned procedures or where there's some difficulty in going through the wrist. So the scrub nurse prepares the patient and also the trolley here that we use for the procedure. Well done, sir. So these drapes, just to keep everything nice and clean. So the procedure is performed under local anaesthetic, and sometimes we give patients some sedation just to take the, the edge off the thing. The local anaesthetic is just around the artery and works very quickly to numb the area. Next thing is a little tube. This goes into the wrist artery. It's got a little valve on it so the blood doesn't leak out, but it allows us to pass our catheters up. So at the end of the table is our radiographer. So the radiographer is responsible for moving this camera around and so we can get pictures of the heart from different angles. And that allows us to best see the narrowings and what's going on to cause the problem. We use contrast or dye. That's what we inject into the artery to get the pictures. So we're going to now get the x-ray tube in. The camera comes in. This is the camera that takes the pictures. This shield protects us from the radiation because we're here every day. OK? And I can now use the x-rays to see where the wire's going. The wire's passing into the aorta, which is the main artery. And this catheter follows the wire. You might be feeling that. You can breathe normally. And wire out, please. OK. Good. So I'm just going to show you these pictures and see what, show you what I think the problem is. So can you see the pictures there? Yeah. So this is the catheter going into the artery around the heart. The black is the dye filling up the arteries. This is the artery called the circumflex artery. It should go down further. So the cause of the problem today has been that artery at the back of the heart blocking off. And that, because you've had, you've got pain that's ongoing, I think that's worth trying to us uh, reopen that for you to improve the blood supply. So we're going to start the procedure, the stenting procedure. The first thing we need to do is to get a wire through the blockage. We then stretch up that blockage with a balloon. So I'm using the x-ray equipment just to see where the balloon is in the artery. OK, and up you go. Inflating. I'm stretching this artery now with the balloon. 6, 8. 10, 12. 12. OK. You might get some discomfort while that's going on because the balloon temporarily is blocking the blood flow. That would be quite normal. And down. 12 for 20. So we're going to use a stent, and the stent has a, uh, a metal scaffold that keeps the artery open. It goes in at quite high pressure, and it stays in. So the stent also goes on the wire. It's mounted on a balloon. Inflate the stent there, please. Inflating. Eight. Eight, eight bar. It's eight. Ten. It's ten. Twelve. Twelve. That's good. So we're just... Uh, expanding this stent into the artery. Common to get some discomfort with that. 
That usually lasts for a short time while we're expanding the stent. And we leave the stents expanded for a few seconds to allow the metal to expand into the artery. Okay, that's fine, balloon down. So the stent is in the artery, it's opened the blockage and it's a scaffold that works to keep the artery open. So that's the procedure complete. We've treated the blocked artery. We're gonna take the catheters out now, which is the tubes. Now, we're gonna take this tube out of your wrist. That would, can leave some bruising. If you came in for this procedure as a planned elective procedure, we might let you home the same day. Sometimes we keep patients in overnight. Because you've come in as an emergency, we're going to keep you in overnight and just uh, make sure everything settles down. Okay? Thanks very much, everyone.